What's going on, YouTube? Hey, guys. This is your boy, D from Bim Gang. And it's Liv. If you're new to our channel, make sure you like, share, comment, and most importantly, make sure you subscribe. Right now, we're about to react to a video entitled, Black Kid Literally Gets His Arm Ripped Off After Being Ran Over for Stealing Air Jordans. So this, is why, this, this is why I gave up on shoes, because people are dying over footwear. Footwear. It's ridiculous. Let's check it out. Mm -mm. Supposed to be a normal Craigslist buy and sell did not end that way. A driver inside that SUV, a guy known as Phil, a 39 year old father of three who says he sells tennis shoes Wait. off Craigslist just as a hobby and to provide for his family. He was just going to do that again this Friday, but it didn't end that way. The teenager you see walking up, he thought was just going to do a simple buy of the tennis shoes, but it didn't end steal. that way. As you see, the team got inside that SUV, but inside, according to investigators and members of the driver's family, they say the team pulled a gun on that 39-year-old, but the gun jammed. Wow. The team then Come on. the tennis shoes and ran off. You thought that was the end of this story. Well, that's where it becomes a little bit more complicated. The team ran off trying to catch a bus. He could not get the bus, but the so driver you gun, but you of that can't. SUV turned around, and as you can see at the top part of your screen, ran over that wow. teenager. Wow. That run over separated that teen's arm from his body. Oh, my God. And as you can God. see, the team after that, with the adrenaline rush inside of him, ran off running. with only one arm to collapse in front of his home just a few blocks away. But relatives of the driver say that scene was all just the driver defending himself because a gun was pulled. In but he place. got out your car. Um, he's at the 69 precinct. They are bringing him down to Central Brooklyn. They're going to arraign him on whatever charges. But he's working on getting a lawyer to help him out. He was just there to wow. support his family. Now, obviously, what this kid, you know, is accused of doing to your cousin is, is not a good thing. But a lot of people are saying, could your cousin have just let it go let and just called go. the police and follow that, you know, follow that kid home or something like that versus running him over? That's what he's trying but to he do. But he threatened his life. That's, that's, that's a tricky situation. Yeah, but he threatened your yeah, life. You go to the police for that. Don't you go doing? running him over. A whole arm left on the ground. We also understand tonight that kid, by the way, is still in the hospital. I'm not quite sure. I haven't got an update on whether that's been reattached. Uh, as of yeah. That's crazy. The guy was gonna kill him over some See, shoes. See, exactly, sneakers. Come on, I'm sure. I'm, I mean, I know times are rough, but that's why I wear payless. Mm -hmm. Nobody even payless is not even payless. cheap anymore. So we could. I wear pumpkin today. seeds and all that good stuff. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't get killed over shoes. Yeah. Adios. Watching. See you next time. Bye.